I'm coming out of my cage and I've been doing just fine. Gotta, gotta be down because I'm fucking insane. Oh, I like that. Leave that in. Hello, everybody. It has been quite a while since my last F1 diecast video, but I hope you guys will enjoy this one, the, the return video. I've been working, uh, I haven't really been working on it for a while. I've had it planned for a little while, so I think you guys are going to enjoy it. But anyway, before we get into the proper review, let's talk just briefly about fair comparisons. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen comparisons between Spark models and Mini Champs. Fuck. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen videos comparing Spark models and Mini Champs models, and that, I would deem that a fair comparison because both of those are the highest quality, they're very high quality F1 models, and they're both marketed towards the same demographic. They're both meant to just sit on a shelf and that's it. Super high detailed, super high quality, pretty fragile though. They're literally just meant to be looked at. And as I said, I would deem that a fair comparison. So today, fuck all that. <laughs> today is not a fair comparison because we are looking at the Barago cars. We are doing a comparison with the Barago F1 cars. And I would consider these, and most people would consider these, a toy. They are significantly less money. They are not nearly as fragile. They have a lot more play feature. I mean, the wheels move. That's pretty much the only play feature. Uh, you're probably not going to break this car. Probably. You might, but you're probably not going to break this car as easily as you would break a Mini Champs. And we are comparing this Barago car to the mini champs mercedes the mercedes w10 the reason i chose this car is because personally i think this is the best barago car that they have ever made so far if you remember to my last video i actually did a comparison between barago and spark but that was the 2016 barago and that i mean the poor thing didn't even have a chance it got totally I mean, I'm sure we all know the outcome of this video. We know which one's going to be better already, but I'm sure I'm at, but I don't know how many people really are looking at mini champs cars and Barago cars every single day. I've, I feel like there's not a lot of people who buy both of them. And I certainly don't see a lot of videos comparing both of them. So this isn't like a serious comparison. Like I said, these aren't really marketed towards the same group of people. So this is just a fun little whatever video and that's kind of what all my videos are here here's a metaphor for y'all this this is you and this is the guy she tells you not to worry about actually you know what that was mean uh this is you guys and this is the guy she tells you not to worry i mean you shouldn't worry about this guy look at him bro look at the suspension that he's got nothing and here's one for all my female viewers because according to my analytics 10 percent, about 10 percent of my views come from females which I, I don't fucking believe it either, but the, the analytics don't lie. So this analogy is for you guys. Uh, this is, this is you and your hair looks good. I don't, I don't fuck cut that shit out. All right, guys. So for this video, I'm going to rely a little bit more on pictures of these cars than I really ever have. I really feel like the focus, my camera always has problems focusing. So I really feel like if I just try to go with it, try to go with the video, it's just not going to look nearly as good as it possibly can. So I hope you guys don't mind seeing, not seeing my hands as much as you usually do, but uh, they're, I mean, they're kind of dry anyway. So we're just going to go over the die cast. I will post up close pictures of both of these cars, or I will have pictures on screen of both of these cars. And so you'll be able to see everything that I'm talking about. It just won't be necessarily the first time I see it. Well, it doesn't fucking matter. You guys are smart enough, hopefully. You'll, you'll get it. So we will start with the front wing of these cars. And for the most part, uh, it looks it looks pretty similar. Uh, the biggest difference is probably the paint. It looks like there's a little bit more shine. 
on the Mini Champs car. Another difference is that there's little black pinstripes between the winglets on the front wing. Just a little detail to make it look like there's space between the winglets, in fact, even though there is in fact not. That detail is not on the Barago whatsoever. Uh, the, the turquoise lines look a little bit different. There's kind of, there's a very big difference between the printing of the decals on the Mini Champs compared to the Barago cars. So as we go down the car, I will point out it again when it's really noticeable. Just have it in your mind that that's what is there. Uh, the first trope, I guess, of the Barago cars are the very thick suspension pieces. You can see right here, the Barago, uh, they're quite thick. Um, that is, of course, so they are less fragile. They won't snap off as easily. I've never broken a Mini Champs wheel off before, but I, I know it's possible. Also on the Barago, there aren't really any brake details, but if we go over to the Mini Champs now, I mean, it's this is a totally different, there is so much more detail in this specific area by the suspension and the number. Uh, you can see there are, there's antennas, there's more cameras, there's the F1000, that's not an extra detail, that's a specific race detail that's not on the Brago, but there's just more lines, there's more bits of detail on the Mini Champs around this area. There's also brake detail uh, at the end of the wheels. The wheels on the Mini Champs car just look a lot more realistic. It looks more like an actual tire compared to the Barago car. The next detail will be right next to the wheels. It's the barge board area. It's kind of hard to see. It's clear that the Mini Champs and the Barago are based off the same. The winglets look the same or at least similar, but the Mini Champs, they're a lot thinner. The cutting on them is a lot crisper. Uh, and I think that I can actually be seen very best with the winglets right above the barge boards. Uh, the Barago, they just look super bubbly. They're silver. They almost look like airs almost. It just looks kind of out of place there. But on the Mini Champs, they are quite thin. They're black and they just look like they belong a lot more. The printing is also a little bit different. Uh, it's just a lot brighter looking. It's a lot of a crisper image on the Mini Champs car compared to the Barago. And uh, before we move on to the middle, to the rear of the car, I'll talk briefly about the tires. Uh, obviously the detail on the Mini Champs car is a lot better. They have the wheel nut detail and that detail just isn't there at all on the Barago car. Moving back slightly to the driver detail, obviously the Barago doesn't have any driver in it whatsoever. It does have a seat and the steering wheel is molded. It looks like it has knobs and a screen on it. Uh, but it doesn't actually have that. It's just molded that way. The Mini Champs is actually, it does actually have a sticker on it that shows uh, the little knobs on the steering wheel. Also the halo. On the Barago, it's just molded to look like it has a winglet. But on the Mini Champs, uh, it actually is a separate piece, I think. It's really close to look like it's just molded, but I think it actually is a separate piece. There's also a little detail that looks like it's where the fuel goes on the car. Uh, that is not on the Barago whatsoever. Moving to the back now. This is one of my favorite parts about this Mercedes car. I think this is one of the best Mercedes liveries ever made because of this part. The Mercedes logo checkerboard with the silver to black fade. And the Barago car, I think it looks pretty good, but one thing, and this is gonna sound, and this is gonna sound kind of confusing, but one problem I had with this car, and this goes for all the printing, is that it kind of has a checkerboard pattern to it. I know, it, I know you think that's what it's supposed to have, but it it looks like the printing is it's not a super high quality print, and you can see it with the black especially. Uh, the fade is pretty good, but the overall printing isn't that great, I don't think. It's not terrible. It's certainly the best printing on a Barago. But when we go over to the Mini Champs right here, it's a lot cleaner. It's a lot crisper. The fade is a little bit more drastic in the middle, but I think that's more realistic. That's what it looked like on the real car. 
So the Mini Champs definitely wins on that front, and that's really with all the printing. All the printing on the Barago is kind of got a checkerboard pattern to it. It's just not super high quality, uh, but obviously it's a lot cheaper. The number is also a little bit bolder. It looks clean. I mean, it all just looks cleaner on the Mini Champs cars, but that probably goes without saying. To the rear wing now, once again, it's printing related. That's the biggest uh, difference. Uh, the turquoise this time, it just looks so much cleaner on the Mini Champs compared to the Barago. There's also a little bit better detail on some of the winglets on the rear wing. There's a little bit more space between some of the pieces, obviously. Can't be like that on the Barago because it would just break off immediately. The rear diffuser, there's basically fuck all on the Barago car. Uh, they only just recently started putting the light detail on it. On this car, there is the light detail. The light panel looks like it goes a little bit more far out. And we also have exhaust detail back there. The whole uh, rear diffuser, rear exhaust area just looks so much better. Uh, both the cars have logos inside the rear wings, but with the Barago, uh, it's very clearly a sticker put in there. Uh, the Mini Champs, it's probably also a sticker, but it's nowhere near as obvious that that is what it is. Over to the floor, they're pretty similar. Uh, obviously, the Mini Champs is a lot higher quality plastic that they're using to fake the carbon fiber. It also has the board detail on the bottom. It's hard to really say, it's hard to really put into words how much better the quality on the plastic of the Mini Champs floor feels, but just take my word for it, it's like a lot, lot better than the Barago car. Really, that goes for everything. It all feels higher quality. It's way more fragile, but at the same time, I don't feel like I'm gonna really break this car from handling it too much. And we will briefly take a look at the other side, although it is exactly the same as the other side. That didn't, <laughs> said other a lot there. All the sponsors are pretty much in the same place on both these cars. There's not a whole lot of difference between anything like that. The last thing I really think we need to look at are the mirrors. And the reason for that is, is cause the Barago's mirror is just really fucked up. Like I didn't notice that when I filmed the video, but a bunch of people in the comments kept talking about how fucked the mirror was. And yeah, I mean, it definitely is really messed up, but on the mini champs, it, uh, it's just fine. That is to be expected. I'll, I'll do a couple close-ups of the air boxes now. They're pretty much the same. The Mini Champs is obviously just better. There's only one camera on the Mini Champs, but two on the Virago. That's probably down to the fact that the Mini Champs is specifically from China, whereas the Virago isn't at all. And so that, ladies and gentlemen, is the comparison. Now, obviously, I, I mean, I think it goes without saying the Mini Champs is better in just every way. But like I said at the beginning, this isn't really a fair comparison. You're probably not looking on eBay deciding whether or not you want to buy the Barago or the Mini Champs. They're just really not competitors. I mean, they're both F1 cars, but this is a toy. And this is a toy, but for adults, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> but besides that, I really think it's just a pointless debate, uh, debating which one is better. I mean, obviously the Mini Champs is better, but the Barago, it's good for what, it, I say it in every video, the Barago is good for what you're paying for. It's good for what it is, and it is a toy. You're certainly getting a better quality car with the Mini Champs, and I've said that, everyone knows that. So I really don't have anything else to say in this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.